Ricky Rourke! Ricky Rourke! What's up, dude? How are you? Look at... <laughs> I have to call you Ricky Work instead of Rocky Work. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hi, 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 hi. Remember, you guys do need to have a YouTube account in order to shout. I'm just about ready. You guys ready? I'm, about, I'm just about ready. You guys ready? <laughs> do you guys like this sick music? It's royalty free. <laughs> All the best music is royalty free, guys. Hi! My name is Dina Maria Rodriguez, and I am a full time hand lettering artist, teacher, and product maker living in Portland, Oregon. And I'm super excited to walk you through my entire process. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, um, but I'm excited. I'm literally starting with a blank canvas. Blank canvas hype, all right? Nothing's been planned. I haven't started thumbnails. All I know is what style of lettering I'm going to be using and um, the uh, phrase that I'm going to be drawing. And that's it. That's all that I know. <laughs> I know as much as you at this point, And I'm just going to walk you through my entire process. This piece might come out like garbage. Hopefully it doesn't um, because it's a phrase I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's fun. It has to do with alcohol. Can you guess what it is? Probably not because I'm going to tell you right now. It's... When life gives you lemons, just add vodka, because lemon vodka is like my favorite drink in the world. And I'm like getting over a cold, which means I cannot drink alcohol. It's very sad. I had to have a sober Christmas because I was insanely sick while I was in Wisconsin and I desperately wanted a cocktail. But when you're sick, you can't have a cocktail because then you get sicker and your immune system's like, boo. And I was like, no immune system. I'll be nice to you, I guess. Doing good, just planning for the day. Cool, cool, cool. Where are you getting the music from? It's from um, Spotify, Spotify royalty free music. What up? Hey, Shanna. How are you doing today? Th thank you so much for coming to my show and stuff on the internet. Okay, okay. So uh, today I'm gonna be using the same stuff I always use, but for those of you who are like, Dina, I don't know you. I don't know what you work. Okay. So I'm gonna put this glove on. Wait for it. Okay. I'm gonna be using a Apple pencil and iPad, uh, iPad Pro. I use a program called AstroPad, so that way I can screen mirror Photoshop to my tablet. If you guys are wondering what kind of format and how I'm able to live stream right now, I'm using a program called OBS, where I can use all these different screens, like this one, and 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 this one, and, this one. Um, and then connecting that to YouTube Live. So, and I have a blue, this song is awful, you should kill yourself. Oh, why? Royalty free. Oh. Mm. Uh, using a, a blue microphone and a uh, C9, C9, C920. I feel like I'm missing a number in there. Uh, webcam. <laughs> All the things. What up? All right, let's get started. So let me turn in my iPad and do all the things and stuff. Oh my God. So I just opened my iPad and this is what's on it. This is obviously something that Rick worked on last night. Are you ready? This is, this was, this is what was on my iPad when I just turned it on. Rick's having a lot of fun with this like screen mirroring program. <laughs> oh, Rick, my beautiful, beautiful fiance. All right, let's go ahead. Let's open AstroPad up. 
so I can screen there properly. Do, 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 do. All right. I think everything's got enough battery. Okay, so this is how I like to start. I have all these really cool brushes in here from Retro Supply Co. that Shauna Pinch has made. I've bought other brushes, but I keep using these brushes because they're the best and shun as my girl. All right, so I'm using something called the Blue Pencil Sketcher. It looks just, oh, look at that lag time. That's sweet. <laughs> is there anything else I can close? Oh, iTunes is open. Let's close iTunes. Is there anything else I can close? All right, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a style called Savvy Swatches, which was the last style we taught in the workbook. You guys can check it out here. If you guys would like to learn how to draw this style of lettering, you guys can get that at patreon.com slash lettershop. Lettershop with two P's and an E, like an old ice cream parlor. Uh, for just $7, you get instant access to this workbook that walks you through every single letter, both uppercase and lowercase. And then also you get a bonus workbook that's called Chiseled Serif, which teaches you how to do not only a varied weight serif, but also gives you the opportunity to how to add drop shadows and inline graphics to your lettering. Definitely check that out if you are interested. But this is the style I will be referencing for this particular project. Okay, so first things first, I have to turn this music down. This weird music that I've picked. The Adobe apps. Um, I've tried a lot of different apps and Astropad is the only one that makes me feel like the most comfortable because it's the most like, oh, Photoshop, it hasn't changed the same, you know? Hey, good to see you streaming. You might remember me as, yeah, what's up, Barry? I know I've left my Twitch family. I'm sorry, Twitch family. I'm all about the tube now. All right, so first things first, we have to figure out, okay, how are we gonna even start this piece in the first place? I'm gonna turn up my brightness a little bit so I can see. I've been taking a ton of video lately because I'm recording my next vlog on my process creating a t-shirt design for Redbubble's 11th anniversary. Okay, and when your screen's too bright, your camera can't record it and you have to turn it really dark. So first things first is you just write your phrase at the top of your paper. If you guys have the availability to do this project with me, feel free. Um, but obviously if you're gonna do verbatim of what I do, please just do not post it on social. Just keep it in your sketchbook for you. Okay, so you just write out the phrase when life, this is my handwriting, isn't it pretty? Gives you lemons, add vodka. Okay, so we write this out on the top of our page for a few different reasons. A, to make sure that it's spelled correctly. I can't tell you how many times I've created a piece of artwork and it was misspelled and I posted it and someone on the internet had to tell me how I misspelled the word. This is also why I like to live stream because people can point out my, gram my grammatical errors. Um, okay, so we also want to figure out what our visual hierarchy is going to be. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this term, it's the order in which your eye reads a phrase. This also dictates the tone of the message. If I highlight certain words and make them bigger and give them therefore more importance, it can completely change the tone of my piece. So here I'm going to underline the main word that I'm going to make the biggest in my phrase. This is going to be really helpful when planning out the thumbnail process of this piece. So. When life gives you lemons, add vodka. So for me, the most important part of this phrase is just add vodka. All this music is bad. <laughs> um, because I just want add vodka to be really, really big because it's the unexpected portion of this very overly cliched phrase. So add vodka, I definitely want to be the most important, but now I want to think what's going to be the second most important. So things like when you, are definitely tertiary words. Those words don't really have that much importance. They're just filler words. So that way the sentence is easier to come off the tongue. So I would probably say lemons and life. So I'm gonna put two underlines because this is my secondary visual hierarchy. So ad vodka will be the biggest, lemons and life will be the second biggest, when gives you will be the third biggest. Now this also helps you not only with size, but style. Usually since life and lemons are gonna have the same weight in size, that means they're probably gonna be in the same style. Now, normally this would make the most sense if I was using multiple styles in a piece. A lot of people always have the question, well, how do you know what styles to mix and match together? How do you know what words to keep in the same style? I typically like to keep it like every other. So when in life would be a different style, gives you there, so on and so forth. Just so that way I don't have too much, I don't have like the first half of my paragraph 
in one style and the second half in the other. It has this kind of like checkerboard formation so that way your eye stays captivated because it's noticing something different as it reads from left to right, top to bottom. Now I have to go back and forth between the chat and this. So if I miss any questions, just bear with me. Yeah, Rocky's kind of like a big deal. Everyone definitely check out uh, Rocky's YouTube channel. Click on his little username and see his amazing stuff. He's also in charge of a business called Slapstick. Is that what it's still called? I keep forgetting because I know you changed it. Um, definitely check him out. He's not only a very handsome, beautiful man on the inside and out, but also very talented. <laughs> All right, so I figured out my visual hierarchy. Since I'm a designer, the fact that this is off center is driving me nuts. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do the thumbnail process. So. This piece, I'm only gonna use it for Instagram. So I'm only ever gonna show it on Instagram. So I think having it being in a square aspect ratio makes the most sense. This is something you have to think before you start any piece of the lettering process. You have to think, where is this lettering piece going to be used? Because that'll help you decide whether it needs to be portrait or landscape, or if it needs to be like a really nice banner going across maybe the top of a website. These are the questions you have to ask yourself. And also, is this lettering piece going to be used on multiple things? Like if I was making this piece, what if I wanted to put it on t-shirts and mugs and pillows? Then a square ratio would still make sense, right? But if I'm wanting something like a curtain or a bedspread, I would not only have to make the file size bigger, so that way it wouldn't be pixelized when it got blown up, but also make sure it was a little bit more wider of an illustration so it could fill up the entire background of those particular products. <laughs> <laughs> you might hear Rick peeing. Just, you've been warned. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna do a couple thumbnails. I typically always start really, really tiny. And these squares are just a little bit bigger than my thumb, hence the word thumbnails. Just gonna do a couple. I always try to force myself to do at least five, even though I pretty much know what I'm gonna be doing. If I'm doing like a client project or something like that, then I most definitely will do like something like 20. But just for time's sake, we'll just stick to five. I'm gonna center this to make it all pretty. Cause my designer face, my designer face, my designer brain hole is like, Dina, you need to center this motherfucker. Okay. So when we're thinking of our thumbnail, I don't even want you to think about writing the piece. I want you to think about how you want the word to be shaped. So you want to think in terms of containers, right? So if I was just had the word win in this style, it would obviously just be in this kind of container. It would just be in a rectangle. So this helps me decide, okay, do I want this to be on an arc? Do I want it to, to bulge out? How big and how small do I want these boxes to be? When I start to just break it down just in box form, it makes it a little bit easier and takes the stress out and it can make my brain kind of think in terms more of layout than instead of reading the words. So let me show you, let me zoom in here. When life gives you lemons, add vodka. So a lot of people might start with just writing out the letters and then start to do containers. So I'll do both just to show you the difference between the process. I always like to start every video with this is just my particular process. It might work for you, awesome, it might not, but just try all the things and try not to take anyone's advice too seriously, just see what works for you. So some people might be like, okay, now this is something I have to do. I have to see my piece written out in order for it to draw it. It's really weird. Okay, so some people might do something like this. Like, they might just do something straightforward when life gives you, and everything's just straight, but they're just trying to figure out how to break it up. Just to get it straight, just so you can figure out your hierarchy. So I'm gonna do that again. Because I wanted add vodka to be the biggest, and right now with this first one, lemons is bigger, so that tells me I have to break up add vodka and have each word on its own line. Because these are my goals, now I'm trying to figure out a layout to achieve those goals. So when life gives you, and this is without layout, this is me just writing it out. When life gives you lemons, It'd probably be something like this, add vodka. All right, so that makes more sense. Add vodka is the biggest, lemons is the second business, uh, is the second bigness. Now the only thing we have to think about is life. So let's do it one more time. 
So this might mean something like when is on its own line, but really, really small. And then life is bigger and then gives you, I'm going to run out of space, lemons add vodka. Now, if your lettering or whatever goes inside the container, no one cares. Like <laughs> literally everybody does this. So with this particular hierarchy, notice that it's turning more into a portrait than a square ratio. So that's something you have to keep in mind. That means we're gonna have to angle these letters, these containers of the words in order to better fit them in a square ratio format. So now I'm gonna to start to go with containers. This is the hierarchy. When gives you has the same, it's the tertiary, it's the smallest, life and lemons, second biggest and add vodka. Now, when I say visual hierarchy, that doesn't always mean bigger. Because add vodka might be actually a more of a similar size to life and lemons. But what I can do is make it bolder or more elaborate or more detailed. That means I can give add vodka a, maybe a drop shadow or maybe I give it an inline graphic or maybe I give it a lot of different swashes and swirls and filigree surrounding it to better draw your eye. So size doesn't always dictate visual hierarchy. Bold and decoration can also help you piece that together with your with your work. So. With that being said, let's do that again, but now let's start to play with containers. I gotta watch out for my layers. Okay, so when I think would make the most sense if it was just really tiny in like a little arc. I would like life just to be kind of big, like here. Gives you, what if I did like a banner? Gives you lemons. And I could have this guy maybe just follow the container there and then add vodka. So I'm thinking add could be small like this and then maybe vodka goes like that. So I know that might look a little confusing, but I'm trying to figure out how I can stylize this piece, right? I really want to make this piece look a little bit cooler, um, a little bit more varied. I don't want it just to be straightforward. But the one thing that I'm missing here is that this is still getting too long. So we have to keep trying. So what I'll do here is maybe have this guy win, be really small, have life be really big. Gives you just have to be straightforward. Just playing with containers. So when life gives you lemons, I can make add a little bit smaller and then vodka really big. Now that saved me a little bit of room. So now I'm gonna get rid of these boxes and then just start to just do container work. I just posted something on Instagram, so you're going to see a bunch of notifications and stuff pop up on my screen. Okay, so what else can we do? So I'm going to go ahead, keep this guy up in the top, take everything here, get rid of it. Where's my one little dude? I'm going to find you. I like this guy. So I'm just gonna play with containers. So I'm just gonna put it there as a reminder and I'm gonna try a couple different ways to do this. Now I'm doing this small because I'm probably gonna do a lot of these. All right, so now I'll start to put like what we call handwriting or just the skeleton of the lettering within the containers. So I'm just gonna make this guy a little bit bigger just so we can start to do that. So this would be win. Life gives you lemons, add vodka. Just to kind of give you a better visualization of what I'm thinking here. So one thing I do like to do is since I have a 
this kind of curved the top, I'm gonna wanna curve that at the bottom. So I wonder what would happen if I just repeated the same process gives you what if I went like this wait nope I want the opposite so I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna do this a few different times just to figure out how I want to do this so I want to be able to mirror some elements so now that I have something kind of mirrored I can go ahead when life gives you lemons so now lemons and life have the same visual hierarchy I can go add vodka so now it's life lemons and vodka have the same visual hierarchy and i kind of ended up reducing uh add here now even though this is a good solution and i could just go ahead and start to draw it i'm gonna try a couple other versions because i think we get a little bit too comfortable picking the first piece that works and we don't push the limits as far as we can when we're doing our lettering work. So that's something I always try to push myself. Even if everything after this just sucks and doesn't work, I know that I tried more options. There's always usually another better idea that you just haven't thought of yet. Now, usually with my work, I usually like to include like some sort of spot illustration, but for this piece, I do wanna keep it just typography focused just because this is a more decorative style. I may or may not add like icons in the background or something. And I'm definitely gonna use like a yellow bright color scheme because of lemons. But I think I do wanna keep this pretty straightforward just because it is a little bit longer of a phrase. All right, what else can we do here? What if I just made everything like a little banner? It gives you Ooh, changing up that song. So. so because I decided to go a different way with this guy, I'm just, this isn't gonna work. So I'm just gonna follow the negative space of this container. I'm gonna try a couple more, just cause I have an idea. So what if I did something like, Just trying a bunch of different stuff. So when life gives, so this would get smaller, vodka. Oh, lemons, ha <laughs> When life gives you vodka, just add lemons. Add vodka. Now what I do like about this piece is add is gonna be getting bigger, which I think makes the most sense with the word add. So I do kind of like this association, but I also like, now sometimes like my brain, and this will probably happen to a lot of you, your brain works faster than you can draw it. So that's why I like to do these little container exercises because it allows you to do something really, really quickly and get that idea down on paper before you forget it. So I always like to start, especially with the first word being really small, I always like to do a banner. So I would, I would love to be able to keep that. And I always think that kind of container makes the most sense with the banner. So in life, and then I could go ahead and go do this guy. All right. 
Now, if you guys want to go ahead and do the same thing that I'm doing and copy me or come up with your own containers or, a, you know, a different phrase that you want to do, feel free. So I like this one the most so far. Now, another thing I have to keep in mind is this is a, I'm probably going to be doing this in title case. So the fact that I'm writing this all in uppercase is probably a mistake. Which means anytime the difference between using like all like uppercase letters like this and actually using title case is you're gonna have more room in between something like this I in life and the cap height of this F, for example, like this L is gonna go up higher and you're gonna have this little gap. So with that, you kind of have to think either A, you wanna use two different styles. What can help is if I decided to make win gives you an ad all capitalized, maybe in just a serif style. That's not exactly like savvy swashes or in just a different style altogether. And then that way life lemons and vodka would be in my special style, but I haven't decided yet. So what else can we do? There has to be more options. Now, one thing I haven't tried is just writing it. I could always go light when life and just do something normal. Just see what it would look like. And then I could go when life. which gave me an idea. So I thought about doing this. way of doing something like when life gives you lemons add vodka and this is much I mean it's still a portrait but it's definitely way less portrait than this guy so that's something to keep in mind I think when you tend to like go this route your your head kind of gets stuck in a rut and you can't really distance yourself from a different possibility so I'm actually gonna erase all these other things except for this guy I'm just gonna keep this guy and then keep working so it's just about like refinement and selection and just paring it down, paring it down, paring it down. And this might seem like I'm spending a lot of time essentially on just like doodles, but it's actually really valuable because it's saving me time from trial and error later down the road. So in this, I think this goes for almost just about anything. The more planning you do beforehand, the less mistakes you're giving yourself later. Hey there, listening while I work. Listen while you work. What's up? <laughs> That's okay. Hi, Heather. Nice to see you. What about lemons in the shape of a lemon and vodka in the shape of an absolute bottle on, the, on its side? Yeah, again, not trying to add any illustration to this peach. This, to this peach. To this piece. Just want to keep it tight focused. But hey, Shen, if you want to do your own version of this piece, go, go for it. If you want to go ahead and put some lettering in the shape of a container like a bottle, for example. I think that's a great idea. Go for it. Yeah. All right. Let's try more stuff. So one thing I have to figure out is how I want this to be cased, which makes me think, what if I did an actual banner? Now I'm taking the containers out. I don't know 
why I want to put the K in front of the D on vodka. So this means I'll have extra space here and extra space here. So that means I have some availability to add some additional accents. You're like, ooh, maybe, maybe I will make it, Dina. Do it. Fucking make it. Even if it's garbage. Even if it's garbage, make it. Because you only get better after trying and making for a little bit. That's really the only way you're going to do it. Hmm. All right. I think because I'm going to be running into issues with title case, I think I'm just going to start. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. Keep you here and you here. And then I'm just going to start to do a really rough version of this. <laughs> I fucking make it, Shauna. I believe in you, baby girl. All right. So I'm actually going to pull up this style sheet for inspiration. Again, if you guys want access to how to do the step by steps of this particular piece, it's just $7 and you get instant access to two workbooks on patreon.com slash letter shop. And I'll go ahead and I'll put that in the chat for you guys and make your lives super easy and awesome. Oh, there you go. All right. So I'm actually going to put you over here and look at your beautiful face. <laughs> Thanks guys for tuning in. I know some of you guys are at work, so feel free to just put me on in the background and wait for those little gold nuggets to appear. I'm going to take you and put you over here. And let's see what we can make. I'm excited. This has not been planned. And I, what I love the most about lettering is every time I draw it for the first like four times, it's shit. But then sometime, then sometime around like round six, it starts to come out good. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm a human. Let's do this. Okay. So I'm going to do a bigger version of the containers. Another thing you want to make sure is I see this a lot with my mastermind group on lettering adventures. If this is something you haven't heard before, um, I have a mastermind group on patreon.com slash letter shop where it's only 10 people. We meet twice a week and that we're able to like share our work and give critiques. We talk about professionalism a lot. If anyone has any questions about pricing or contracts, especially when it comes to selling your artwork as a lettering artist or illustrator. Um, and so they'll send me their work and I'll give them feedback. And that's the number one thing I see people making the mistake of is they don't actually have an outline container for their lettering and everything doesn't really look centered. So that's something to definitely keep in mind. Like if this is the width of my art, then this needs to be the width of my whole piece. Okay, right? So not only do we have these containers, and I'm gonna super zoom in here, but we also wanna make sure we have a margin within these containers. Just me. Which means I'm gonna add a little line here. I'm gonna add a little line here. Actually, in this case, no, I'm not gonna do that. I would only do that if this was a banner. All right, I'm excited! Ah! All right, so we're gonna do a skeleton. So what you can do if you need help is go ahead and put some guides in there. For right now, this is my baseline, this is my X height, and um, this is just a crazy, and we'll say this is my cap height. This measures the top of my capital letters, this measures the top of my X height, being the H, and this being the baseline, which is the bottom of my letters. Now don't worry about your kerning or anything like that. We just want to get these ideas on paper.
now because I'm doing this digitally, I can do fun stuff like this. Because luckily, Win and Life are both four characters. So they can be split really easily like that. And then gives you. Oh, I think for this one, I'm gonna have this just be all lowercase. Don't worry if you run out of space, not a big deal. It's your first run, you're probably gonna run out of space a few times. And because this is the biggest difference between lettering and calligraphy, right? Calligraphy, you typically do it in one swoop and then you just make minor fixes along the way. But with lettering, it's all about refinement. It's all about, okay, draw it. Now draw it again, now draw it again. But the key is being able to point out your mistakes so you can fix them. Because if you don't know the basics of lettering, the lettering 101 rules, then you're, you're gonna look at your work and you're gonna know something's wrong, but you're not gonna know how to fix it. So, okay, now let's do life. I'm excited. Blah, 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 blah. And this is gonna be interesting. What if I did do this in all caps? Would that just be fucking nuts? So when you're drawing this, you're gonna naturally find ways to kind of combine letters together. I'm not doing enough layers. We just wanna get the basics down. Add vodka! Add it, add it, add it, vodka. But this one's probably just gonna be more straight because I can't really do a bend with lowercase. So I'll just add an X height here. And we'll get into how to add like sw uh, swashes and stuff later once we get to that part. Okay, so we have our basic, we went from this to that. So just a slow progression. So now I don't need this anymore. I can go here, make this super big. And now I'm gonna start to add some guides. So I'm actually gonna merge all those layers together. I'm gonna take all these other layers I've worked on, put them away. And then I'm gonna start to add some guides in here. Cause this is our first super dirty rough. So obviously lemons got too big for its britches. So if you are working digitally, you have the awesomeness to be able to. And I actually think I will make this bigger. I think I just want to make wind life smaller. And then you can just start to morph things and place them a little bit better. Now the next time I draw this, I'm not going to use the container method. I'm just going to draw my guides. That way I can just like start to center stuff and twerk them out, twerk them out. Yay, mastermind group. What's up, cat? Thanks for hanging out, dude. You're like, this is what your work looks like when you start? I know, it's exciting. Then you can just start to morph and stuff. I love the dirtiness of doing work, like, 
like, yes, could you technically, like, kind of cheat the system and, like, just start with, like, a trace of a fawn or something and then edit it later on? Yeah, you can totally do that. But for this piece, I kind of wanted it to have more of, like, a childlike feel to it. Alright, so I'm just going to start to add some guides. Because a lot of this stuff is just straight, so... I can easily just... Add these guides and what I'll do is I'll just take everything here where's my guy I guess I don't need this guy up here anymore Boop. let's make this guy lodge and in charge and just so you don't get too distracted I always like to put these on lower transparencies because it's just a guy just so I, I'm starting with something go ahead and these these pieces are probably end up getting mushed together a little bit but I'm gonna start to give them a little bit more room because I can I can always push them closer together but if they're too close it's a lot harder do it the other way around so I have a couple ideas on what we could do here all right, it's gonna look a, a bit jacked until we get to round three, but I'm excited. Okay, so now that we have the basic skeleton, let's keep going. Now, one thing I will need to do is I will need to go ahead and give myself some guides, especially for this arc. Just duplicated it to ensure that it's the same. And then that's my cap height. lower that opacity and then start over i have so many cords man okay <laughs> need to make this smaller Actually, no. Sorry, this guide was confusing me. All right. I want you like over here, which means this guy can come over here. All right, let me redo those guides. This is fun. Okay. Why are you going low opacity, bro? Go over here. Thank you. So one way to make now some of you might be like, how are you drawing that arch so well? So one thing you might want to do is just mark the like where you want the arch to end. And then you can go ahead and just make sure that it's a little bit more even. I know what a lot of people do is they'll go ahead and here let's mark the halfway mark in this piece Boop. they'll go like this put a little mark go like that and then just go ahead duplicate it in the mirror it to make sure it's a perfect arc Boop. so that right there tells me that this isn't actually centered didn't even fucking notice there we go anything on the arch is always going to be a pain in the ass all right come on it was at the market there we go especially if you're left or right-handed anything that you go towards the middle is going to be easy but after you go past your wrist in the center it's always going to be a little harder Carajo. You mother fucker. All right, I'm gonna do that again. Now that I have a guide. 
There we go. That's what's up. All right. What? Here, let's lock you so you don't get in the way again. I love how crazy this looks. Now look how off my original drawing was from like me actually like trying to be a little bit more intentional. It's crazy. What's up Kirsten? Or Kristen? Kirsten? Kirsten? Kristen? Kristen Kirsten? What's up girl? How you doing? How you be? whoa so this is a little confusing for my brain so i'm just gonna draw it like this i'm gonna draw it really lightly i'm just gonna draw normal So since I have a little room left, that tells me that I can go a little bit further away. And these are serifs. So like anytime you have a serif, it's always going to be, you should always try to put a little bit more extra room between your letters. All right. Still have extra room. I think I'm going to give the E and stuff more space. Come here, baby boo. There we go. Just making sure that skeleton is balanced. All right, now I can turn this back on. Go ahead and get this G. Now, since I'm, I'm going title case everywhere else, I should just go title case here. All right, where's my G at from the front to back? Can you repeat that? I'm gonna do the same thing. Like now that I know what I'm doing, I like, I don't even wanna see that shit anymore. Now I can definitely add a ligature off this G, but for now I don't know where that ligature needs to be. So I'm just gonna, just gonna let it chill. Same thing with this V, could probably go up higher. Now, one thing I like about this S is I can have it go a little bit lower if I wanted it to. Like, I could have it go like that. And then let's get that capital Y in here. The U. I'm doing these all in their separate layers so I can go ahead and boop, make that a little bit closer which I knew I was gonna have to do anyways. Boop. Now there's a few things like, I obviously have this like little gap here, but I could easily like add a ligature off this G and add a ligature off this Y and fill up that space. Or I can have something about this part go under. Like when you have these gaps, don't worry about it. We're still just in the skeleton phase. You don't have to be so concerned with trying to make everything perfect right off the bat. Now I'm just gonna lift this guy. Oh, I think I locked you. Lift this guy higher. we got some extra room to play with here which is good because it means I can make him bigger all right turn that off another new layer and we're gonna be a little bit cleaner every single time we do this For an O, like a little trick that I always like to do is I just mark where I want everything to go. Like that's my width, that's my height, and then you just kind of connect it. 
I know O's can be a little hard sometimes. Now, for this one, I have to decide, do I want the big S to be here? Do I want the big S to be here? I'm not really sure yet. It just depends on how the space is. So for now, I'm just going to do a normal S, I think. And again, oh my god, my mouse is going crazy. Erase that little dude. Just going ahead and lifting stuff up. Give me a little guy. All right. I'm just using this really to mark my, I know it looks a little crazy, but this is really fun. All right, so one thing I want to do is I want add and gives you to be like the same weight because right now it's much smaller. So I think I want to make gives you smaller. Yeah. Just because that visual hierarchy is hella off for me now. It's so hard to do everything. I don't think I've ever done something like this where everything was in title case like this. I'm just going to duplicate this so I can duplicate its size. Come here. No! Photoshop. I will eat your family and babies. Yeah, not kill, eat them. Cause that's a waste of flesh. All right, come on. Dina, you say such creepy things on the internet. I know, you should meet me in real life. Okay. <laughs> thanks, thanks all 12 of you for watching. You're so nice. You guys are the best. Now, if I end up going too fast or you want me to go over anything, just let me know. All right, so now our life gives you, when life gives you lemons, add vodka. So we want to add the word add right here. All right. Now, I think out of all the letters in this style, I think the A is my favorite because it's like, pretty. Just move that and center it. Boop. Last one, last word, and then we can start to have some fun. It's just, you really got to make sure your skeleton's on point, dude. I can't tell you how many times like I'll see people like go ahead and add weight and style and they, their skeleton isn't even right. It's like, no. <laughs> No, don't do it! <laughs> don't do it! Alright, again, using this to mimic the guides. Alright, add vodka. Vodka, come on, baby! So I could go ahead and do something like this. I could go like that. To help fill that space if I wanted to. Um, actually, hold on. This needs to be lower because I need somewhere to put. I don't have anywhere to put like the D, like the vodka and the K. I need a little bit more space from that. Okay, there we go. Boop. All right, vodka. trying to fill up the space here here we go again you can mark your width and the height of the O and typically if you just do this enough times like your circle will become more circular <laughs> oh my fucking god mm -hmm. guys here I think someone's at my door hold on
for letting me know that the mailman was here. I just got some mailers that I literally just ordered yesterday. That's crazy. Just ordered some mailers from Uline. Yesterday. That's fucking crazy. That is fast shipping. Is Uline like in Portland or something? Like my rainbow. My rainbow dragon. Rainbow dragon knife. Check it out. Look at these mailers. They're so shiny. Shiny. Look at that. Oh, yeah. My dogs are like investigating the package. Like, what is this? You brought a foreign object into our home. <laughs> uh, I just ordered the um, stickers for, what did I order, what did I order? Type, type Nerd Alert, if you've seen it on Instagram. Ordered those yesterday. And those are the envelopes that they're gonna go in because I like shiny things. <laughs> no fat skeletons here. Look at this little tail nub wagon. Yeah, they're cute. Those are fancy. Yeah, it's just from, uh, it's just from Uline. I like how I went to go answer the door and like four of you were like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm leaving. <coughs> That's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this K. I already know I'm gonna do something like this, but for now, let's just do a normal K. Then we have a what's called a, a double story A. All right, and there you have it. That is our skeleton. Now, since I did these all in their own layers, I can go ahead and grab them all and center them. The only one I don't agree with is this guy. What if I went ahead and instead of having add, I go, when life gives you lemons, just add vodka. Cause I feel like that would be better than gives you an ad would be like on its own. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cause I feel like add by itself is like a little weird. And for now, let me just, erase this little swash just for now. There's definitely no nothing wrong, nothing fucking wrong with adding more words or less words to your phrase to help it look better. <laughs> Trade secrets. Trade secrets. Where's Jay? Okay. And I'm also not gonna add the uh, crossbar to the T because I don't know where I wanna put it yet. Like just add vodka, no big deal, don't freak out. Just just, just swallow your sadness and alcohol. That's, that's healthy. <laughs> All right, making sure that's centered. Okay, cool. Yeah, doesn't that look more, way more balanced? I think so too. All right, so at this point you might be thinking, are we gonna add weight now? No, we're not. <laughs> we're not gonna add weight. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy in. Boop. Just have it be like barely visible. Now, one thing I have to decide. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove all of our spots. And then we're just gonna go ahead and make this as big as possible to fit our container. And now I'm gonna do a lot of Photoshop magic. So I'm gonna put away my iPad for a second. This is literally my process for every project. So you guys ever wanted to know like, how does she do it? This is how, okay. So now I'm gonna look at kerning. Then I'm gonna look at kerning a few different times. So, and I'm gonna look at like skewing and stuff. So I'm gonna take these letters. So I really wanna make sure that my skeleton is good as possible. This guy needs to be skewed. So I just took the lasso tool, skewed him 
So it actually is going more so in the direction of the container. Now, I don't necessarily have to do this with every letter, but just the letters that I see are a little weird. And sometimes this is just kerning and I just wanna have them a little bit further apart or a little bit close together. Like life, I feel like is a little bit too far away from each other, which is fine because I want a bigger gap in between when and life. Again, your skeleton is, why are you running away from me? Don't fucking hide from me. Okay. I wanna make sure that you have lots of, like that is definitely more of an equal space. And then once we make sure our skeleton is good, we're still not gonna add weight. <laughs> once our skeleton is good, we're gonna go ahead and start to add swashes and ligatures to our letters to help fill up the negative space. And then we're gonna add weight. And then we're gonna add terminals which are the little balls at the ends you see this d and the c these little balls at the end those are called ball terminals and then we're going to add serifs and then we're going to fill it in and then we're going to fix our kerning again and then we're going to add decorations you're like what the fuck lettering is so crazy it's not it's beautiful it's a beautiful process that you have to learn to love <laughs> you have to learn to love it or you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time okay when life gives you, how's my kerning on? Gives, I think I'm good on gives. You, I feel like this this you is a little bit too close. I'm just gonna, no, gonna back it up, back it up. I do wanna make sure that all of my layers are connected, so. I want one life to all be in the same line. Just for organization purposes. All right, cool. Gives you is good. Lemons, I just think that this E is a little bit too far away from the L. So actually, instead of doing that, I should just make the L's go in more. There we go. In this lick on the L. This is why you shouldn't add licks before you're ready. Because this obviously, it like breaks the mold of it. So I'm just gonna. So I want this to be centered, and then I could go ahead and add licks to fill the negative space. Now, because I knew this L was going to be weirdly placed, that's the only reason I had to like structurally, it was structurally important to the piece to put it under the E. All right, other than that, I think that's good. My microphone's like blocking my view. And then now I can center it properly. There we go. Just add. I'm fine with just add vodka. The K is a little bit for, far away from the D. There we go. All right. Now that only took like what, two minutes or something just to make sure our kerning was good. When in life I think was the one that needed the most help. Those look fancy. Gotta, gotta get some lunch. So glad it's a long process so I don't miss much. <laughs> yeah. And also this is gonna be on YouTube, so if you guys ever wanna come back later, you can. But if you have any questions, you won't be able to ask them because I won't be here. All right, so. <coughs> I'm sick, yeah. Okay, so that's our skeleton. I'm gonna go ahead and call, put this in a group called skeleton, and I'm going to duplicate it and call it weight. All right, I'm excited. Um, I am gonna have to take a brief moment just to go to the restroom. So I will be back in just a second. So just wait, just wait and I'll be right back. All right, cool, good talk. All right, I want you guys, if you're working at home and you just finished your skeleton, feel free to go ahead and post it on Twitter and mention Letter Shop. That's L-E-T-T-E-R-S-H-O-P-P-E, -P -P -E, like an old ice cream parlor. And I'd be more than happy to uh, give you a quick critique online if you want. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. BRB, so mama can pee.
Hi! What's up, what's up? Aw, just checking Twitter. All right, guys, last chance. Just gonna grab some coffee. If anyone would like a critique, not only if you're doing a skeleton or if you have any lettering work at all that you would like some quick feedback on, now is the time to post it onto Twitter and just make sure that you tag Letter Shop so I can see it pop up. And I'd be more than happy to give you a free life critique right now, okay? Okay, critiques! All right, I'm gonna grab some coffee because coffee is my life force. Hi. Did everyone peace out? That's okay. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm very excited. I'll keep my eye on Twitter if anyone decides they want to critique. Okay. Put my glove back on. filled up my coffee cup to the very, 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 very tippy, 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 tippy top. No diet today, bitches. Mm. Cheers. Oh my God, hot coffee when you're sick is like, oh, so good. Okay. It's time to bring that iPad back. We've been streaming for like an hour and I have the skeleton done. If that doesn't make you feel better about your own work, I don't know what will. Oh, I know why, because this is on. There we go. All right, now let's add some swashes to help fill up this negative space. So swashes are extensions of letters, okay? Ligatures are kind of similar. So let's, let's go ahead and start with when. So I'm actually just gonna start my own layer of swashes because I wanna be able to add them from different places. So I can see a bunch of different opportunities. Like I can go ahead and going like this. I don't really like that. I can go like this. Like I'm a big fan of never having to draw a tittle of an eye, which is the little dot on top of an eye. So like if I can find another letter to extend so I don't have to like this F, I have it just kind of go around right there. Same thing with this H, I could easily have it like loop over there and then have it go like that if I wanted to. But I think in this case, I'm just gonna have this guy be simple. I'm gonna have this G kind of curl in, go like that and then have 
all different kinds of swishes and swashes. This guy. Here, where's my reference? Can we... I want to try a bunch of different stuff. I'm just going to have that G kind of go like that. To make this balance, I'm going to have an extension go off the U and the G so it kind of points towards each other. So I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to erase this guy. Have this guy kind of want to figure out some really cool things I can do here. So now I'm just kind of playing with stuff to see what makes sense. Just trying to fill up the space here. bad for royalty free music right it's not too bad it's got some good moments and some not so good moments that's for sure <coughs> just because i like i did a, a live stream of me vibes and i was really happy with it and it got taken down because one song got flagged i was so mad because it was like an instrumental playlist that I, I listen to all the time one song got flagged and the entire fucking video got taken down i was like Fuck! And it's like, I can't just sit here and not listen to music and have it just be quiet. So it's like, it's either A, I play royalty free music, or I listen to music and you can't hear it and it's just really awkward and quiet for you. But if you guys would rather me turn off the music and then you guys can listen to your own music, that's fine too. Just let me know and I'll, and I'll do that. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna start now now that I've added swashes and stuff I'm gonna start to mess with the layers a little bit more so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just combine everything except for those guides up there so I'm actually just gonna combine all my layers and I'm really gonna start to mess with it because not everything always has to be on the same axis and everything but like I think if you start off with a good skeleton like you'll be in good shape. So I'm gonna do What was my idea? Oh right. Alright, so I think I'm actually just gonna redraw everything. So I'm just gonna lower the opacity here and then redraw the skeleton. Come on. I need more desk. Alright. And then instead of being all scratchy, I'm going to try to be a little bit more intentional. Here. Make sure that we're not... Oh, that's why... <laughs> I didn't create a new layer. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... Try to be a little bit more intentional with my... I just start to kind of play with stuff. Just 
will start to really like play with stuff. Again, just trying to fill up that space. I think I need a headband or something. With my short fucking hair. It's like, get out of my face! Get out of my face! I need like a clip or something. Because I'm gonna be like staring down for a long time. I just wanna like. I think it'd be really cute if I mohawked it and I just put it in a bunch of ponytails and just went like. Tina, you seriously don't have a hair tie on your desk? What kind of woman are you? I might just see one. My desk is so disorganized. There's like pencils and sh fucking receipts and bills everywhere. I can't even put my hair behind my ears. Yeah, I learned that when I put my Twitch streams on YouTube, I had to turn them into time lapses and replace the audio. Yeah. I mean, Twitch will still mute, but they'll only mute during the song, which is nice. Alright. Come on. Nope, too curly. sure that these are mirrored. There we go. So I like lowered this because there was more room here. And this guy I could go up here and then go like that. Yeah, so that way it fills that space more. Now these are spaced out pretty awkwardly right now just because they're gonna be so much thicker with serifs and serifs always make like you always wish you put more space with a serif dina come on baby girl I'm definitely changing up the style a lot here, but that's okay. I just want it to look cool. Let me make my navigator bigger. So that way when I'm zoomed in here, you can like see it really nice. this much layers. There we go. Now you can see it like a little bit better as I'm like super zoomed in here. So it doesn't just look like bleh.
Pretty. All right. Now that we have a more structured, uh, maybe I do need just a little bit more layers. <laughs> Where is it? This one? This one? This one? This one? This one? There it is. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Now we're gonna have to change up all these fucking guides here. Because even though I want to be loose with stuff, like stuff needs to more or less align. But I think it's good to turn your stuff off just so you can, I don't know, feel like you have a little bit more freedom with your pieces. But they should still be on the same act. Like add is getting like a little bit higher than it should be and little things like that. Like that's a little bit too much of a change. I'm seeing a few issues here, like just add isn't centered anymore. Vodka isn't centered here. Let's go ahead and cheat, hide everything and center it. Just so we can really start to bug these things out. So it's just like at every stage, you're just constantly like refining and I know you guys are like, fucking Dina, you've been at this for an hour and a half and you're still at the fucking skeleton. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, it wouldn't take it quite, quite as long if I wasn't streaming it, but that's just how it is. No, I think I'll actually just do that. I think I want to get gives you and just add smaller. Just so it could be a little bit more structured. And I think I want this L to kind of be diagonal and go like that. add here. Come on, baby. Put it on that same baseline. Come on. Nope, that's not what I hit. I right clicked. Thank you. So like little things like this is just has four characters, add has three characters. So the space in order for it to be centered should be more or less near the T, like the end of the T. Oh, I know what the issue is here. So I was like, it's not sent, like this line isn't centered and that's what's fucking me up. There we go. better. Giving, I'm giving everything a little bit more breathing room because when things start to get really complicated with like a lot of swashes and stuff, especially if you're doing everything in the same style, like you want to give it a little bit more breathing room just so your eye doesn't get all cluttered and confused. And I also think I want to make lemons wider. And it might be something as simple as I might end up just replacing gives you and just add with a different style. Just because I don't think I've ever, I never, like, for a phrase this long, I very rarely ever put everything in the same style. But. 
get this life back on track. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to add like what kind of accents I want to add, but I think I'll just wait for the end for that. All right, let me save this. Cause I always like to show where I started. So like this was my original, this is my original skeleton. And then I redid the skeleton and then I redid the skeleton again with swashes. And just with every step to show that it gets a little bit better over time. Okay, now we're gonna add weight. <coughs> this is when we really start to add the style in. this layer oh that's the old one all right let's do this thanks guys for the retweets on uh the live stream i appreciate it all right come here i thought i love you so much okay now here comes the fun part now i won't be looking at chat for a bit just so i can focus on this part okay this is a very important part. All right. Apple pencil check. Astropad check. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Let's add some motherfucking weight. All right. So how we're going to add weight to this piece is every line that goes down gets thick. Every line that goes up gets thin. So for this W, that means that this guy gets thick. This goes up, so it gets thin. This guy goes thick again, and this goes thin. So I'm just gonna roughly color that in. So this guy not only gets thicker, let's add a little more weight like that, but we're actually gonna add a little bit of weight to this guy. Now this piece does have a squared off W. So I'm actually just gonna fully, and I'm gonna have it kind of come short. So the style looks a little bit better. And then just add a little bit of weight. This one's a little bit thicker. And this guy add a little squared off, have it square off. And then I'm gonna start it here and add just a little bit of weight. Now something to keep in mind is that, remember, as the line goes down, it gets thick. So this is going up, it's going, come on. It's going up, 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 and then as it goes down, it gets thick, and then as it goes up, it gets thin again. So same thing with this guy, we're gonna add just general weight, and it'll help us smooth them out. And this guy has a ball terminal, so add a little ball terminal there. Now this is going down, 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 down. So as it goes down, it gets thick. And as this line starts to go up again, it gets thin again. See how that, how much style we've just added to that piece? Now, same thing with the H. Since this line's going down, it gets thick. I like to use, and you'll figure out how you wanna add weight. You just wanna make sure that that weight you're adding is consistent. And then this H, just add general weight to the line. And as this line it goes down, it's gonna be thicker. And for this guy, I'm actually gonna go like this. Now this is a serif style, so don't forget to add the serifs while you're in here. So the only serif we would add to this W would be this guy. So how I do a serif is I just draw the line going along it, and then this is a rounded serif, so we're gonna add like a little bubble and have it kind of taper into the, the piece. Now it's up to you whether or not you want to add a serif to the bottom of the W. 
Like, if you technically wanted to, you could. It's just a stylist stylistic thing. Since I wasn't able to add a serif, which would have gone here since I extended it, I am going to add a serif here just so it looks like it's more within the style. Now for this H, I'm just I'm going to add a serif on the top and bottom of the stem. So you want to do the line and then you have to tailor it, kind of taper it into that. You want to be really careful here to make sure that your serifs aren't touching. So for this guy, I might actually want to move it over a little bit more just so that way it's not super touching. That's serif. There we go. All right, go into the E. There's a thick part here and a thick part here. So it actually go like that. Add a little bit of thickness for the thins. I'm gonna add a little ball terminal to it. Go into the end. Using the line as a middle. I'm gonna add a serif just on this left side. And I'm being pretty scruffy, but because we're gonna ink this. Same thing, add weight, and then as this goes down, it gets thicker. Then this would be a ball terminal. It's like a little teardrop that goes in the end of your, your letters. Now, if you want to go ahead and make your piece, like have this thin be thinner, like your line weight, go for it. I just wanted it to be a little bit thicker. Now I can already see that this E is too far away from the H. I think I'm just gonna have this guy in. I don't think I'm gonna give him a terminal. Just make him look a little bit more normal. So, as I go, because I wanna make sure I don't forget anything, I'm just gonna move this over. Obviously, there's a pr pretty big difference between adding weight in the skeleton. It definitely makes the piece. All right, now let's go to life. Oh, did I cut you off? Sorry. L in here, same thing, add weight. Now you'll notice that like I could just go ahead and do this, but I really wanna make sure that my weight is staying consistent and I can't do that unless I completely fill in the piece. Cause it helps me visually distinguish the lettering. to make sure that my thicks and my thins are staying consistent. I don't actually think that needs to be wider. Here, I'll do a normal L, I think. So I have a few that are actually like more like the style. You just want to make sure like your serifs are all staying similar. Sometimes I'll see people have like different size serifs.
add some weight. Make sure that that tittle, that ball terminal is exactly where that tittle would have been. And you'll figure out where to add weight because you definitely want to make sure that your kerning is staying consistent as you're adding that weight. So sometimes it'll be slightly on the left of your skeleton or slightly on the right of your skeleton. Um, it really all just depends on what makes the most sense for the space. Sometimes it'll be the center mark. As you get more familiar with adding weight and just kind of practicing it, you'll you'll figure it out. You remember trying to add weight in the right spots for this F. This goes up, and then it gets thin, and it goes down, it gets thick, it goes up, it gets thin, it goes down, it gets thick. And I decided to do kind of like a more of a wavy crossbar on the F. It's your work, you do what you want to it. Get the E. Again, make any kerning issues, fix it up. I'm gonna go ahead and move this F a little bit. There we go. All right, so we got our first line done. So it's definitely like a big difference between your adding weight. You'll notice things like, hey, that I actually like this E more than I like this E. So like, I'll go ahead and cut this guy out and then take this E and just duplicate it. And then when I ink it, it'll still look like two different E's, but it'll just have a, uh, a, you know, a more similar style to it. Like there's nothing wrong with that. You could totally cheat a little bit. So it still captures that same feeling. So I just wanted it to have a different kind of vibe. I don't know. some weight to gives. I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of the weight to it. There's a serif right here. I'm gonna start to uh, go a little bit faster now.
honest, I'm like, I'm like, I just stopped looking at the reference. <laughs> This U has a, a tilt to it. I remember that. Then. So if it's easier for you to go ahead and do it that way, just like indicate where you're adding weight and then fill it in roughly, that's cool too. And this is what it would look like if we didn't add any weight to the fins. This gives it more of a diverse look, but I want it to be a little bit more bold. So I will go ahead and add some weight. But you do want to make sure there's like a seamless transition from the fins to thicks. Like you shouldn't be able to point out... Like they should be... it should just kind of flow. Those are really nice because you really just put a more condensed O inside the O. I always usually like to add the thick, so then I'll go ahead and add the fins. You really shouldn't try to do them at the same time. You should try to do one than the other. There's a couple characters that I could like work on more, but. I think what I'm gonna do for this tutorial is I'm just gonna get as far as adding the fix because after this it's really just about inking and then like you know choosing colors which we can totally turn into two different tutorials but I do like to sleep on any adjustments made so like once I get done with the thick adding the fix um, for this piece I'm gonna want to like take a break or sleep on it so that way you just like look at it with fresh eyes so that this will sometimes include things like flipping it upside down or mirroring it or just being able to switch your perspective on it a little bit more so you can stop reading it and start to notice more of like the mistakes that might be in it. Even though I don't really need reference, I'm still just going to keep it up. That's one thing I knew was going to be wrong. It wasn't going to be straight. Oh, ends are always so hard because you want to make sure that the serifs don't touch. So because I want to make sure I have enough space. There we go. You want to make sure that these two pockets of negative space in your M are also similarly shaped and sized. Snoring. Can you be? 
getting too messy. Come on. At this point, it's all production. I always give the S too much room. Oh, it's happening! Coming together. Let's fill her in. You're gonna be inking over this anyway, so don't spend too much time filling it in. You're just gonna go over it anyways. But before I do wrap up, I am going to do a check, which is like making sure that all the thins and thicks are consistent and the kerning is good. Like obviously this middle div and the M is bigger. The music helps me want to like draw faster too. It's like, get it, get it done, get it done, get it done, get it done. Let's move that S closer. I'm also gonna make him a little bit wider. some spacing issues in here. That's okay. I hate when my brain works faster.
Hey, but my iPad doesn't work as fast as my brain. thing is like trying to remember certain things about characters like if I'm moving too fast or if I'm forgetting anything so like I spend so much time in the skeleton phase I'm like I gotta make up for it plus this part's just production it's like super this is like the part where you like can turn your brain off or like sit in front of the tv and just go for it This K, you was just gonna make sure you have a nice little negative gap in between your leg and your arm. Most people try to put the leg right in this little crevice. That is not where it goes. Do not put it there. this a is like a it's kind of like an s curve so it's like instead of it going like this like i had originally it goes like this getting messy and messier as I'm like, I just want to finish. So I can like really start to, cause you don't need something like so perfect by the time you ink, you just need like a general idea. Cause like when you ink it, that's when you really need to worry about like your line weight, like everything just needs to be a little bit more perfect. And then that's when you start to get like really nitpicky and you like zoom in real close and make sure that it's not too bumpy and all that stuff. Vodka? Some vodka? I want vodka 
is so bad. I haven't drank it so long. Pretty much all dialed in. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this guide layer and start to just play with some stuff. Again, just gonna put away my pencil. It's pretty good. There's just some minor adjustments I need to be able to make. This guy, I think I'm just gonna cut off and have this guy go like this and just end. So just have it go like like that, just so it can have a little bit better placement. I also would like to lower this guy a little bit. Maybe I'll add like a nice drop shadow or something on lemons to help fill up how wide I made it. Just an add more since I added that additional swash on A on the A. There we go, that's better. Maybe have to pull vodka down a little bit. So just an add could. needs to be further away it's also not straight normally I'll cheat and I'll use like um like if you just hold and press down shift as you draw you can get a straight line but I was too busy for that oh, I lost my layer is this you there we go let's use a little skew action transform skew now it's straight. Put that in just a smidge. There we go. Vodka! Vot, 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 vodka! I like it. The only thing that's bothering me is wind life. Right now, it only ha it has three levels of hierarchy. Wind life gives you just add and then vodka. Like if I made this smaller, would that? Nope. Probably just needs to be a little bigger. There we go. Now before we peace out for today's stream. Gonna do one more thing. Besides editing all my stuff. If you're gonna, so when you're proofreading your stuff, there's a few things you have to watch out for. You need to make sure that A, everything's on the same, somewhat same guides. So meaning that baseline that all the letters sit on top of, the X height, which is the top of your lowercase letters, and the cap height, which is the very top guide that goes above your capital letters. So you, you want to make sure that it's more or less on the same guide. 
you all then after that you want to make sure that your weight is consistent so all the thicks of when when in life and all the thins are similar it gives and you lemons and vodka whatever ones are supposed to have the same hierarchy like lemons and vodka the weight of this o should be the same as this o the weight of this v should be the same of the thickest part of this l and just like gives in you now me i'm probably going to make lemons vodka wider um and then after that so you have your guides you have your weight and then you want to make sure that your axis your axis is the tilt of your letters so in this case these letters are supposed to be more or less straight so we're just going to go in here and make sure that they're rotated correctly that they're as straight as they're supposed to be that they're not tilting especially things like anything with a bowl in it it's just common for them to um be a little bit weird all right i see something here you might have a couple issues where you're here i'm actually just going to delete this d i like this d this d came out good and then i'm just going to change the curve to it So instead of this one curving, it's just going to be a straight flat serif. I'm just going to use my mouse for that. And I kind of like the idea of it going this way, but I don't know. For now, I'll leave it like that. Okay, is everything else rotated right? I want this S to be wider. It's just like, is there any eyesore? That's really what you need to think about. Is there anything that you can see that looks off? If something looks off, you have to think and ask yourself why it looks off. You can't just be like, oh, it's just off. I don't know why. Like, no, 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 no. You have to make take the time to figure it out so you can make the adjustment before you ink. Oops. I did something weird. I want this to be a little bit like that, and I want to be wider. Sometimes it's just something needs to be skewed. These little tweaks really make a difference, I think. Like, especially things like O's. I always end up having to rotate my all of my O's. Like, I like same thing. I like this O more than this O. So I'm going to delete this guy. This E needs to be wider. So you just want to make sure your letters are staying similar. Like this O should be about the same width as the E. Now it is. Like your letter should be similar. Like this N is probably a little bit too wide because this M is really just two N's. So if I look at this M, this N is way more condensed than this one. So that tells me that this guy just needs to be a little bit tighter. Because you have all these different points of reference that you can kind of play with. And it slowly but surely will come out pretty sweet once you spot everything. What are you doing? There we go. And I'll probably add things like some juice marks, I think, on the sides here. Like I'll add one here and then maybe one here. I'm not sure. Because one thing I'm not sure of is this ligature on the F. Like, I think I want to make the vodka normal. That way I can add juice marks on each side. And the same thing with this lemon. I think I want to make this shorter too. Just so I can, it could be a little bit more balanced. Yeah, that's better. Quick decisions. Nothing a little lasso tool can't fix. 
fix. I can always just have this guy kind of turn in and have this one be normal, I think. Because I think I do want to add like little juice marks to the sides here. I just need to make sure that I give myself enough negative space to do that. I get so much satisfaction from like making these little tweaks. Also, another thing that's W is leaning too much to the left. See how this negative space right here is smaller than this negative space. So that tells me that this center bar needs to change. So there's nothing wrong with me actually like starting to cut out pieces of my letter to fix. Now that's way better. And then just go ahead and continue that line. There you go. Now it looks a thousand times better. Now Justin, Adam, Gibbs, and you have a nice space away from each other. I gotta watch out though for this width. adjustments then I'll add little squirts little squirts all right so let's finish rubbing this guy off just having him be straight vodka needs the most work I think I want this guy be the serif. And then maybe have this guy go like that. Yep. That seems like the right decision. I don't necessarily need to fill up any space on the left side. I need to fill the space on the right side. So it makes, and I can't do it to both. Or else it's going to look all crazy. This is going down so it gets a little thicker. There we go. Keep going like one more thing and then one more thing and then one more thing. <laughs> I'm never gonna stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's go ahead and make this guy thicker so I can see for sure if I love him. So I definitely like try a couple different versions of this vodka. Let's 
So. so I definitely want to cover up this. Oh, I just can't figure out how I want to do it yet. I don't like them going in the same direction. So like, what if I go like this? I just had a normal, I just had a normal V. The sun's coming out. And it's the K that actually goes out. I think I like that one more. And there's something that's not quite feeling right. Don't settle. Don't fucking settle. You don't settle in your relationships, I hope. So why the fuck would you settle in your art? flat of a line. Come on, Dina. Okay, actually, I have a better idea. What if... Undo, 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 undo. Oh, redo. What if I just had to go like this? I just had it come off the stem. Then I have this weird space above the A. Oh! Do something like that? Possibly. Oh my god, iPad, I'm gonna kill your family. I think Astropad is like, they reached out to me uh, this morning. And we're like, hey, we'd love to give you a free trial of Studio. And I think it's because I, you know, I talk about Astropad so much and I use it so much that ever, ever since they launched their Studio version, which is better than their, which is a subscription versus a one-time payment of $20, they, uh, I think they made their old software lag more and made it worse. And I've been using that software and I think they're like... <laughs> Um, Dina, you're making us look bad because our program kind of sucks and we want you to upgrade to the better version. <laughs> you can see it like lag in my videos and stuff. And they're like, no. This might not work, but I want to try it anyways. Just trying to figure it out, man. Ugh. Why can't I win? Nope, that's not gonna work either.
And this is like pretty much what I had already, but I needed to redraw it. I think that the loop just wasn't right. That's what was there already. I know. The only reason I don't like this guy is because this loop and this loop go in the same direction. Oh wait, no, I got you went the opposite direction, Dina. No, you no, it's the same. The loop and the D I think looks better, like that, like wider. Maybe it's just the loop was too big. Let me close these blinds a little bit here. I'm like, I'm gonna do this. No, I'm gonna do that. No, I'm gonna do this. No, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm just like, erase, draw. Erase, redraw. Erase, redraw. Yeah, I think this one, even though they're going the same direction, I think they look more natural, and I think that's why. I was having a hard time. Yeah, that's probably why. Okay, now we can add some accents here. We're gonna add some slurpees. Now how you wanna do slurpees is you usually want them to all come from the same direction. Most people want them to be like, Something like that. So I think what I'll do is I'll have them go like this. Sometimes it helps if you just get the line in there. So that way I can go like this. As long as they look like they're coming from the same place, you're usually in a good... Slurpees, that's what I call them. Just to help fill up that negative space. A little bit more. I need to be kind of like angled. Nope. So that way they're like, look at they're coming from the same spot. You typically want to make them a little bit not like not all the same length and stuff, so that way they can look a little bit more varied. Oops, that's not a race. Something like that. Actually, this one might be better. I made it smaller and shorter. I wanted to make it a little bit different than your normal three-tiered one. Just to get something in here. And let's go ahead and flip it. See if it works on the other side, which it probably won't, but that's okay.
almost wrapping up. Do you plug your iPad into your computer when you use it? I do. Yeah. Like, I don't know, the program, like the AstroPad Basic used to work really, really well, but ever since they made a more expensive version, it's like they made their older version bad on purpose to force you into buying the new version. It's like, it's like they found a new business model and decided to make their old business model obsolete to manipulate users into upgrading, which I don't appreciate. Like I'm a business person, I know what you did. Like, oh, you know what's better than getting a one-time payment of, of $20? A monthly payment of $20. It's like, guys, come on. What are you, what are you doing here? I'm gonna make each of these like a little different. There we go. Just add vodka. Just add vodka. I have to pay attention to mine more. Oh man, and it still lags? Yeah, totally. It's frustrating. Astropad! Why do you suck so much? I mean, I feel like we've come pretty far in today's uh, like two and a half hour stream. For those of you who actually stuck around the whole time, you're crazy. <laughs> and I really appreciate your love and attention. Alright, that answers that question. It's like, I feel like this isn't centered. It's because it's it's not. I keep changing the baseline so much. Hey, Mr. S, you want to join the party? Okay. Every time I see this L, I do something different to it. I'm just like, no, this way, this way, this way, this way. So that way it follows the shape of the E more. There we go. See how it looks more purposeful? Purposeful! Now the only space that makes me a little annoyed is this M, like right here. So that's something I'll just have to sleep on. But I think for now, we're at a really good stopping point where I can like kind of sit and think about this piece for a minute and find anything wrong with it. Probably the next steps are turning it upside down. So just to show you how far we've come during today's stream, we started with this guy over here. Yeah, that, that was a thing that happened. We did some thummy thumbs. Look at these thummy thumbs. So many thummy thumbs. We did a lot. We did a lot of thumbs. Just a ton of thumbs, just trying to figure stuff out. And then we went ahead and did uh, containers and then put in like a super rough skeleton in there. Then we went ahead and removed the containers and just did a, a rough skeleton. We redrew the skeleton and then went ahead and added swashes and ligatures to it. And then we added weight and accents. 
So I think we're in a good spot. The next thing I'm probably gonna do is this, which I'll show you. Uh, I'm gonna put revisions. This is this guy right here. Turn it upside down. And then you really start to look at the letters more as shapes than you do actual letters, which is nice. So I can see things like this guy needs to be, Botkin needs to be further away because the spacing is off. You see how this space, this negative space between this letter and this letter and this letter and this letter are just slightly off. So those are the types of things we just need to think about. So everything just looks like it has enough room. That way, like this space between this space and the space between this space needs to be similar. So you're really able to like not only look at the letters themselves with the negative space surrounding those letters. Let's go ahead and make it a little smaller. You can also like double check um, the lettering. Like this N looks a little bit too wide now, which I didn't, I wouldn't have noticed that otherwise. If I, unless I had turned my piece upside down. I think this U is a little wide. This M needs to be centered more. I'm just gonna cut it out, move it off to the left a little bit until it's centered. This E is just a smidge too wide. My dogs are snoring. just doing something like that and like looking at your work from a different point of view I think what's also really helpful is to look at it really tiny as well um, and then mirroring it so anything that can kind of switch up the way that you look at it I think is really helpful all right well I think that's a wrap for today's stream thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it I know we spent a long time in all the things and I know I'm super dark they shut my blinds because it is hella fucking bright outside right now but thanks guys for watching my live stream you're all amazing and i super appreciate you this has been fun dina thank you for sharing of course so barry and kat and shana and just all the people who are probably watching even those of you who do not have youtube accounts and haven't chatted this entire time i hope this has been helpful especially to my patrons at uh, patreon.com slash please if you would like to learn more about lettering and learn how to draw this style specifically that we're calling savvy swatches please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash you will get instant access to this worksheet and you will also get a bonus worksheet for um chiseled serif uh, so definitely check us out uh, and I would love to have you guys join the community. Thanks so much for everything and I will see you guys on the flippy flip. The flippy flip. Bye guys. You're so awesome. Thanks for being my friend on the internet. Bye.